Um, this Romans chapter 5 verse 2 It says by whom all we have access by faith into his this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God and not only so but we glory in tribulation knowing that tribulation works in patience and patience experience and experience hope because I but you over here with fun there within myself, talking to myself all the I know. Where are you telling me? Why? You went to the question. I didn't what do you call a Imitation, calling a great man, calling his person a real man of greatness. Which is easiest and third by experience, which is the better. So, my son, my experience, we come out of the next month. Ah, look at here. By man, what is up? It says, better be wise by the misfortunes of others than by your own. Only a fool don't learn from people mistaken. That's why you say, better be wise than the misfortunes of others. Because like like you you like you step in, you walk it in because you realize like hey, this is Right? What is but then the But then the main one more step and they sink in a hole. You know they're gonna step in that same hole. If you step in that same hole, then you're gonna have a say a gamas. My own experience. So basically, you don't want to hear what you want to tell you. Now you see why you understand? What's this number? Learn from what David did, right? Learn not to be a David. Exactly, like like unrighteous men, unrighteous men. You know what? You know what? You know what men did that made them fall away from the most high. And you learn what they did that made the most high turn to them. So now, when you forsake the Old Testament, when you forsake the Old Testament. You actually forsaken you wisdom. Now the scriptures say you're forsaken me. Yes, that? Yeah. Right. Somebody was reading some of story. I don't read. That no, was it never was heard heard so. Yes. Right? Hey, so basically, I think it's finished.
Yeah, I'm leaving it finished. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, so, hey. Uh, Make up on a man. Make sure we go with this. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Right, that'll show you Satan on top of your mind that you actually cause your offenses and, and think that the Lord, that the Lord with you. So just that I um, thought that I was as well as with you. Right now, as I said, go wrong. We know to right now, we get back to this. We get the apostles. We get Israel to live among itself. How to dwell brotherly. Right? That is the Lord doing right now. Teach us how to live brotherly. That is the doctrine of peace. If Paul was teaching, Paul wasn't teaching at all. Maybe at peace with Gentiles. He was teaching the same way Moses teaching. What was bringing back all Israel together? That is what Paul was doing. Right? And we can tell how Jesus prayed for the Lord. He was praying that same way. But what was also giving them warning of the things were coming. Alright? Alright now we see the prophecies. Right? Right now, to Basically, the Bank of Jews to 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 surrender our land to the Palestinians. But if they were the real Jews, the scripture said Israel shall dwell safely alone. So why did land gonna be divided now? Why did land gonna be divided? And they say that that actually could cause war. That actually was supposed to be war. So for them to be like, um, I'll be saying that he was a prophet for the table. Hey, there's an agenda that these people had from years back. Back in, um, I think it's 18. You know, will them call me on? The end of the 1800s, basically, the truth is here. He basically said that they're going to have three world wars. And when they start, and when they're going to accomplish by it, and it was on point with the first one. Alright? It was on point with the first one. It's in the third one. It's going to actually be to spark that conflict between the Zionists and, uh, and the Muslims. Alright? And right now, there's no place to be going on in the land of Israel right now between the so-called Zionists and between the Muslims. So-called Muslims. Alright? The Ishmaelites. Do you know that can actually bring in World War III? Who knows? But hey, they still be looking for all these young Muslim prisoners on the open. So we hope that hey, that hey, coming so for the new year, some great thing can happen now. Alright, some great thing can happen. Right now, the shit that they're looking to push the war with Russia. And we hope that 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 something great great happen. It's probably Saturn, Ambassador in Egypt, in in Babylon. We hope, we hope that some great thing happen we come looking to get out of here. Alright, all these people, all these people out here, they, they, they don't really care that the Lord, that the Lord coming, that the Lord away. Just the other day I was telling one of the brothers that, hey, it's funny to hear somebody talk about, you know, I'm going to school, I'm going to put up education, and we like, I say, we just really look like bums. Because to them, we don't want to do nothing with we life. But guess what, we're doing something with we life, we're trying to save it. Three spirit of the Lord. Right? But this world has none through this world. The scriptures say this world and everything in it gonna pass away. Understand? So we, we are gonna um, so complete a tree. Um this verse 8 and verse 10. The second Peter chapter 3, verse 8 says, But but beloved, verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yeah, thief in the night. So that is why we always have to be on the watch. Watch out for the day of the Lord. You understand? For the state, the scripture says, blessed is he that keep his garment. You understand? Go ahead. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yeah, a great noise. The scripture says, um, 
mountains, the good hikers are going to be moving for him. Alright, go ahead. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, nuclear war, thermal nuclear destruction are going to melt in fervent heat. Go ahead. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, good. That, that basically, that mainly America. Because when people see the word earth, and then I talk about the whole planet. Nah, I talk about the whole planet. But the word earth, we look at the word earth, they go back to Aratiza. And Aratiza just means a piece of land. You understand? When the scriptures say in all the land, two days shall be cut off. And I was talking about America, when they said, um, land is going to be destroyed. So when they go in second as just 13, they say, um, uh, in a place called Aratiza, which means what? Another land. Alright? So Aratiza doesn't mean land. You take up Aratiza in your hand, which is the date. Alright? So it says, good, the good can be built up. Both good in your second part. Alright? Mainly America served in a place like New York, Israel, wherever the case is. But the whole good, because if you go good, be destroyed by fire. This one, the Lord shall scale in and deliver the other nations in the world. Alright? Because the scripture says, it shall be dug out of the bunkers. Understand? Where the, um, this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. It says, One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abides forever. Yeah, the earth abides forever. So it's going to be destroyed. The scripture says, The uh, Lord will never destroy that which he did. Understand? Back in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 11 it says, See then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought he to be in all holy conversation and government? Yes, yeah, so we are trying to keep this up. Uh, in that end. And I stand the scriptures say, I'm going to take this first John 1 20. 